two start in the defense and straight away NIP looking to bring the fight to them on the pistol round, rushing right through mid onto the B site. They've already overwhelmed Pith, but he has a little bit of support, a quick rotations from the mid hold and, and A site. They've left it completely open knowing the plant is coming in. Now all they have to do is defend in the post plants, but look at the HP. Everyone's so low. NIP still winning these duels as a Kukos, aka Existence, pulls it off. JD up behind, catches Artis in the back, and leaves it all down to one. It's Patatech healing himself up, has to hit the shot. They start to really clock up Patatech. It's so smart. He puts down the wall, but pushes. They hear the sound cue. They think he's gone. He gets one, but now he's stuck. This is the problem. Still getting a second kill, running away and making it at least up to his wall where he awaits the, the sweet release of death. A player caught up here, Mixwell in trouble, being pushed down by three, and a pre-fire from Rhyme eliminates him. A three versus three, a huge start by Patatech and his teammates come to save him in middle, but they have to mount a retake as they've lost the B site. A slow comes in, and they might be hesitant to actually go for this. At this point, you could be about to get hit by some shock darts, peeks in through the smoke, and there's nothing to really block off. Sure, they can smoke it, but that doesn't stop a Sova Recon from coming through, which is already back up online for artists. They have to be very careful about going for this spike plant. They want to wait it out and pretend they're not here, but there we go. The tag just about gets out, and so they know that the players are here. G2 are ready, and they're sticking around. Planning the spike is going to be tough. They'll have to find the kills first, and Korea gets dropped to leave Akukos, or Existence, all alone in the 1v2. That, that will always make me laugh, you know, that name. But yeah, Existence putting weight in this round, but it's still not over. The lack of Sage for the attackers is a huge, huge fumble right now. Wow, he actually gets that? That's insane. The one versus one versus Patitek, who who did so much this round. He actually ha had a triple kill already. One kill from Patitek. Uh, sorry, from Zeke. And now 1v1. Oh. It's going to be nice. He knows the position. Oh, but look at this. Well, he used the ultimate. It's the Rolling Thunder. He can just wait it out. And the thing is, at this angle, if they if they tap it, it's going to push them out. But a preemptive one, it's actually, I think it's dodged. It was Panatech. He, he was it. waiting for the peak, but he taps it now. Blinded up. Makes it away to safety. Time is ticking away. The heal comes into play. Taps it again. Oh, he's going to be hit by it. But he dodges it just about. The peak's still there Whoa. from existence. And a 4K. Activated. Doesn't trigger the sound. Exactly. Uh, oh, that's an awkward fight. Patatek gets away with murder, finds the kill and the information early, and it doesn't cost them that much, really. A man disadvantage, but with the ultimate of Mixwell, that could be the difference maker. That's what we're looking to. Has no updrafts left to get above that smoke, but Pith and Artis, what is oh, going wow. on? They've shut them down, and Mixwell, the cherry on top, flying those knives. And going for this early aggression, but not if your Sage dies. The wall is being spammed on just to destroy it, but Pith receives a lot of damage in return, down to just 14 HP. They revive up existence, and a man advantage is now there with Pith super low and no Sage to heal him and even make it slightly easier to take these fights. Getting back in is going to be damn difficult now. Not only that, but the revival of existence actually gives the advantage of having the ult as well. But did you see that shot from Kra? That was insane. Absolutely nutty stuff. Putting it into a two-man advantage and, oh, well, they've even committed the Rolling Thunder to it. Uh, maybe a little bit early at this point. I feel like you probably just save if you're G2. Pith falls and more weapons lost as they eventually decide to turn tail and run towards A. Save what they can, but Artis is he caught. Get JD up. now on his way to pursue a little bit further. Zeke has stalled aim towards the spawn and he could be in trouble there's two at this point he has a feeling that this is completely open but it looks like he's going to go for the flank rhymes being caught off by a stinger and with that okay they pull it right back into a three versus two the b side already secured as chihuahua pushes up into the back lines yep and with that, that's his job it's, oh hold on they hear the steps they know at this point that the players are on their way towards b but they don't know where chihuahua is he should be the one that secures this round Chihuahua is the instrument of uh, of success to, for NIP. If he gets the informations, he gets a duel somewhere. Even you know he gets a kill. That's that's gonna change the entire way of the round. But here, still a good trade. Ten seconds left. Only one player left. Go to, goes for the safe plant, which is very important. Artist flanking a little bit. He has the time. He has a good weapon. But that's it. To the guardian, man. That could be so many just good occasions to get a. Uh, get a rest, and which is also very important because they play such a ultimate heavy uh, composition. Having a sage that reses so much will give additional orbs to another player as well because he dies and gets rest, so he gets additional orbs because of that. That is insanely valuable, especially with um, with existence on breach, who has a seven point 
ult as well. We're talking through this because it looked like this round was done and dusted, right? A four versus yeah, two. All of a sudden, two big kills come in. Artist, though, left on 11 HP. He still gets the kill. That plant can't come through anymore, and they know it. Up on the ropes, Existence has shown himself, and the swing comes around from Pith. One HP. He's almost gone, almost done. The classic even comes out to close the round. They've seen him in the box, and oh. Pith with a wall bang from a classic and a viral. What the plant there? Maybe next round then, he still has it. They have an entire control of the site, but mixed with the big opener, we didn't have, we didn't see it, but it was a good, uh, I think from Boiler, a good shot from Boiler um, to the nest. Oh, hold on, they're, they're coming back out for this with the wall that's up. Artist Mixwell, Patatech, everybody's clocking up frags, and it's all down to Mixwell in the end. JD healing himself back up, but it's hurt. Mixwell knows he's not pushing him. He was going to stick it, but then he swings at the last second and finds the third. That is six to four, and G2, they are on... Let's rethink some of these uh, arrows. <laughs> what is happening today with uh, with Artist? This is like the third shock dart that... Goes like oh, Artis, he goes inside the smoke, though, in a shocking play. Even if the dart doesn't connect, that one does. Out he goes with the Vandal, looking around the left side, and he's almost caught a victim. And they're just tucking away up behind the walls. The spike plan to come through in a 4v4 retake to be underway. G2, not in the best of spots. Rhyme is very isolated here, though. He has a little bit of help from Omen. But Korea distracted by the player behind, left Rhyme open for a second. Luckily, nobody peeks through and takes that fight as they delay time. Chihuahua comes in. Nice shot to Mixwell. The ult deleted. There'll be no screen plays here today as a 2v3 remains. Trying to get back in with the man disadvantages is never easy. And Pith, well, he gets a chance to go at it one more time. He didn't win the 1v3 in the last round, and this one's not looking any more likely. 8-4 to four at the half. And you just think about it, Lothar. With the weapons that they had Switching on G2 sides. in these rounds that they won, this is a attack day. And that was the moment when they went back to B. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's like, he doesn't have a lot of possibilities to just show up. I mean, but here, this might be a different story and he goes for a double kill. Who's a noob? Sorry, Z Zeke, did someone say? <laughs> this guy's on fire, in this round at least. Now, I mean, but, hey, it's an eco, you know, he's an eco cobra right now. <laughs> eco fragger Zeke. No, but I, I don't want to draw too much attention to it. I know I already have, but, <laughs> but <laughs> it's one of those things that it, it always gets to me. You know, you, you see players that, um, due to how the rounds have been playing out, look, he's doubled his kills, legend. Um, but it's very easy to look at scoreboards and see fired it off. It could probably break glass. I never tried it because I was pretty sure it would. They've spotted three players, though so two at least, but they know Korea plays around here and the paranoia is going to give that away. At this point, I'm expecting rotates back towards the A side, but they don't have anybody lurking. This was full commitment towards B and that makes it very difficult to actually play this around. JD, there we go. Just about catches his teammate to get the heal on up. And yeah, well, I was going to say it's looking unwinnable. It, it definitely is now with Chihuahua closing it out. Uh, we can talk of those positions all the time, even when you're at the... Oh! They have to rotate. Oh, my God. Well, that's an interesting play and a half. NIP, they've walled up and pushed Existence on top. Completely caught G2 off guard. And that's exactly how you want to play some of these rounds. Aggressive. Rhyme, though. He's left by himself. Both of his aggressive players on B have died. But so two of the players who wanted to push up. And look at this. Does he continue pushing here? Korea is in the key position to win this round. He could catch them off as they push forward. Now, they're always going to look to the left, but he's at an angle that he won't typically be pre-aiming, right? Chihuahua, as well, spots out that poison orb, knows that they're going to use it to either push up under tube, through tube, or to rotate towards Korea. But he's tucking in. Korea knows that he's in the better position, but they are going to come towards middle. They're looking at it. At least the timing is poor for Chihuahua. Zeke had looked away, but Pith was still looking. But that's where Korea comes in to win the round. TP goes across. He's trying to get away. There's the paranoia. It hits. It does damage. He knows exactly where this player is. And the chances of winning... Oh, no, only have Sova on it. There's an Enrican Arrow going in A. Will, will he get it? No, no, no. No info. There's no one on site right now. Okay, Zeke on range. I love this with the Phantom. The power you can get, but the problem is that's a perfect rolling thunder. Existence hits it on command. JD taking two kills. Not quite able to finish it off, but it's a 2v1. Time is low, and Mixwell has to push forward to try and get this plant in. A 1v2 with 70 HP. He knows where one player is, but the other is completely unknown. And with 10 seconds, he has to just win this one after another. There's Rhyme gone. Six seconds almost as he goes for the plant a little bit more. And he's going to stick it fully. No push coming down, but can he get out of there? He has no dash. The swing, and he thinks existence yeah. was down below. Sage. 
Um, yeah, it's what you want to see. Oh, hold on now. G2 going in for this. Mixwell hit the headshot on that as well. Good damage done. Chihuahua comes in for a double though, saving the day. This man kills everyone through smokes, through cages. He's tagged one player up close. He's going up on top, but Mixwell saw him. And with 30 HP, you're not going to risk that. He's going to wait for the heal and play it afterwards. They know that Sage is caught up close and there's a gap around the wall. They have no idea. Chihuahua didn't see Artis further away though. Popped his ultimate instead of taking the fight, but it might not matter. It's all down to Mixwell and the flank is perfect from Rhyme every single time. 12 to 7, we go with that defuse. This Magic. is going to give them so much credit for picking this map because, again, I think most people that look at the Red Bull home grounds results will go, but they beat them 13 5 on split. Why not play split? The reality was they put a lot of time into Icebox. They know that this is a solid map for them. And when you. Oh, no, Korea. That's, that's unfortunate. A bad way to start as Pith hits a nice headshot as well. Existence and he the had tag. both teleports still available. He could have just teleported in yellow, right? Mm -hmm. He could have, yeah. Or even on site. It's a, it's a, a poor start for sure. But just to finish the point about, about uh, NIP, they knew that the A site was a weakness on their defense. They won the round. They won the game in the first. Oh, what is JD doing there? He pushes up behind and I'm going to share Pitt's frustration in that one. As he no doubt is very annoyed that someone's just made that kind of ballsy play straight through his ultimate. That now drop mid is open. But the problem is, even with the res, they have to retake the A side. The flash is perfect. That is gorgeous by existence. I, he had no idea on the timing, but it, I don't know. It just worked out. Fair play. <laughs> <laughs> he just felt it. You know, that was so cool. Like, the flashes from Breach are just insanely powerful. Three seconds, a full, fully flash. Like, Chihuahua got a free kill, basically, on Zeke. And now, it's four versus two, oh even though they had a two man disadvantage. That's straight out from Chihuahua. That's crazy. How does with the double kill, though? It's still, they're still alive. They're still alive. Oh, but hold on. The defuse is coming in. Eight bullets left to go for the spam. He runs out, has to reload, and it's going to be stuck all the way. Existence. Smokes and Ardis is doing oh, he the did same it again. But here, Mixwell with the big opening frag. Ardis comes in as well. Nice stuff to start it. I know they're going to get the control of the side. Easy plant. But the flag from Chihuahua, it's being watched for. They're ready for the timing. It could work out perfectly, but he doesn't suspect someone to be here. So Pith gets the first shot off, but he doesn't hit the heady. Chihuahua survives on 10 HP. And with that, a chance, a small hope for them. They'll clear out Hookah and know that control is not theirs. Off of that, you suspect there's someone on the site. Chihuahua spamming through, and Kriya was the one to find the kill, but a 1v2 to win. 74 HP. No smoke left for another 10 seconds. He tries to bait them out. There's the molly gone. We talked about that before. Elbow is the final player, but he's not peeking. Artist being so low on HP. Doesn't want to give any opportunity for this to go away. A smoke comes in, but here's the, the recon, rather, going up. He heard the smoke, surely, so he knows. But thanks to Korea being yeah, so that was low, interesting. it works out. I was, that was really interesting because I thought the Bishan in uh, such a high damage, but in the meantime, quick execute on A. Seems like it makes well with the big opening. It's a good start for them, but they're going to delay a little bit longer, right? They're clearing out path, but that smoke down, it stops them from peeking too much further. You don't know what awaits you around that corner. Existence, well, he awaited Mixwell, but unfortunately got taken down right afterwards. A brave attempt at the push, but one that doesn't net a whole lot for them. A man disadvantage still to play with. And for NIP, losing the site, losing players, it's looking unlikely that they'll do anything but lose this round. The flank cut short by a well-placed tripwire. So unfortunately, you're not going to see their rays push all the way on through. And with that, JD is left isolated by himself on the A site. It's going to be tough. But JD is a player that can definitely pull out these big plays when it's needed the most. He dodges the recon by moving around the box. Actually gets spotted in the end and wall banks. So never mind. I thought he was going to keep going. But it didn't work out for him. And now 1v3 that his teammate has absolutely no interest in going for. Because he sat over in hookah still. Yeah. He was basically stuck. Like... What he, I'm sure what he would love to do is just to go back to heaven and just take control of the site from there. Maybe get an entry kill when someone is just crossing from A short or from showers. But he was stuck on site and that arrow put him in an even worse spot than he was in to begin with. So there was a lost round basically when he, he got stuck. It is towards the back of the site. And the Cypher yeah. stuck. He's actually pushing forward though. He gets inside the smoke. He's making a risky play and it doesn't quite pay off. This is the round when the risky plays might pay off and are worth doing, mm. right? This is the, where you don't risk much because you have the lower equipment. You lose a, a sheriff if it happens, but if you get a kill, it's much, so much worth. 
Rhyme almost had God tier timing on that. So the way that worked, there was one, there was obviously two players left on A. You had the Sova towards the back of the site who fires a recon dart through. That makes them think, okay, we've got one back site. That should be the whole team, right? Rhyme then tries to push in through lamps, but just about gets spotted as Artis was fading back towards mid. Had he have been literally half a second later on that play, I think he gets behind them and he catches them off guard completely, but they were aware they were ready. And with that, not a single kill. Well, that didn't last too long. <laughs> Korea catches one, he catches two. Okay, Korea. Maybe I should curse this man more often. Picks up a weapon, he's running forward, smoke going down, but he's not gonna go for it. He's gonna take the T. P? Okay. I don't know what that was, but he goes in the TP eventually. You see, the smoke, I think, was the idea of trying to keep the player if they're around bath or spawn with morale at this point. You've stacked up. I want to put out one, one thing. Kriya just used, used the ult on showers to get info, which allowed the entire team of NIP to get a B stack. Perfect. And now they're all here. They're all ready to go. Rolling Thunder goes in. Shot connected by JD. He needs a little more, though. Luckily, the uh, showstopper didn't actually connect any kills. His existence finds one drone goes out, but they see them oh, go into the TP. They're running away, but Raze is still here waiting. This could be dangerous if he drops out on time. And Zeke slow walked through, but still catches existence. Great Hunter's Fury. It's harassing them. It's slowing them. Patatex being spotted in good night and sweet dreams. Surely they're going to just swing. There's one. They know where Patatex is, so he's not long for this world. And a one versus three now. Chihuahua pops the cage and starts the defeat the flank from up behind. They didn't hear the TP, obviously. Zeke is able to grab himself a kill. The nade pushes him off the defuse. They've gotten it halfway, though. Time is of the essence, but Zeke is in with a third. This is dangerous. Four bullets remaining. All he needs is a headshot, but JD, he gets it done. What a close round. G2 almost pull it back, but in the end, NIP clutch it out. Such a cool round because there were a few impact going off straight away and we've already seen the impact that that can have in uh in the recent meta shift towards brimstone now that there's no charge of time right you just throw it down straight away existence looking for the nope. spot to use that up but he's not going to get anything done with the patatech still tucked away safely pops down his final smoke gives his teammate a bit of stim but that oh, costs nice his life the spray through by existence easily done kriya caught with his weapon away rather caught with a smoke out when we go into a four versus three, a, a tough one really, with Kriya falling, this makes you second guess whether you go for it still. Not just because you've lost an extra player, but also the control of that side of elbow. Nice shot by Patatek, Mixwall with a third, and that is it, closed. Existence, he's pushed all the way up elbow. You know, his, teammate, his teammates had already just ran out on the site, and he's not in a position to really swing with them. Again, this was the spot they wanted to have. Oh, he, he's dead. He doesn't even get to TP. He, he's itself are from the B side, excuse me. That's put down the A side hit, but Mixwell, because he's low, he's lurking behind in a position that you'll just never expect. Great damage done. He's taken a kill. Patatek has as well. The spray through the cage, not quite going to work out, unfortunately. And with that two-man advantage, this should be done and dusted. Patatek swings, turns on a dime and almost gets another. <laughs> Even tanks a beautiful little fault line. He knows that his opponent only has a pistol and all he sees is free stats. Yeah, I mean, this this round was well played. No, Rhyme's, Rhyme is pushing out Zeke from entering Hookah. While they they actually got entire long control and got in control. And Wixel is pushing while having an operator. Gets the kill with the right click from his Stoneblade. Blaze of uh, Stoneblade. That was a nice play. But very actually interesting to see that Mixel played so aggressively the moment he chose to buy an op. I mean, we know Mixwell, we know Aggression, we know Jet Operators, this is, a, <laughs> this is how, how he makes his bread and butter, really. But it's completely caught NIP off guard. And you're looking at eight rounds attack side, and, and you said Lothar, you, know, you want to see them pick up uh, a lot of the rounds when they're on the attacking side. Uh, they've definitely obliged you on that one. I feel like G2 is just having a very simple game. Yeah. But it works. And NIP is overthinking everything that G2 does. It's like all of the rotations that we see from NIP are like too early a little bit because they think that it's, it's going to be a fake 
Uh, so it seems like they're paying the price for overhanging. Nice double kill though on the exit. Oh my god. Oh, triple kill, okay. Everything going against him, and yet Mixwell survives. I think he still had his dash to make it into a corner. Rhyme shutting down Artist, but he's dealt with immediately afterwards. And this puts the attackers in a good position. They know rotates will have come through to the B site, and as they've already crept up onto A, that spike plant comes in. But JD has evaded their detection. He's tucked in on the corner. The problem is they're playing a very passive game. This is around bathroom control. And there's one simple reason for it, Lothar, and it's Padatech. Yeah, but the problem is, like, JD right now, first of all, he's playing a Spectre, not a Phantom, so he couldn't even spray uh, those boxes to get a better position, but he's getting caught by Mixwell, and he was still waiting for his teammates to rotate so he can play retake with them. And that, that was the reason why he was just waiting so long in there to get killed by Mixwell. Unfortunate for him. Now Kriya, two versus two retake. No. He knows there's no, no one on the short right now. There was no way that worked out. There was literally no way. As soon as you saw that ult is still online, they've just got the time to play with Panatech. He didn't peek into them, but luckily, time is gone, done, and dusted. And nine to three, one kill. Um, so as much as we might harp on Ryan for having a slow start, uh, Pitts is a little bit slower. He's not He's not necessarily there right now. Last couple of rounds, oh, not being kind wow. Zeke. If we would have got that double kill, man. This is good. Hold on. And look, you're pulling this right back in their favor. It was looking bad with the trades that went back and forth. But then Chihuahua, this guy is an absolute beast. He's monster today. He's absolute monster today. And he, will he get another one? He missed those one taps on Mixwell and Fortune, but he got <gasps> Oh, no. He, he, how many people has he shot through cages, through smokes, and now Karma comes to play against him? Mixwell trying to make it over towards the spike. He was kept. He knows he's here. Like he second. gave away his yeah, position. He saw the what barrel. The hell oh, is going no. on? He was covering for the walkout that his teammate was covering as well. And Mixwell grabs the double. That is a ten-round, about well, five-round lead. A ten rounds on the board for Diddy. But now he goes on the backside because of this, uh, because of this cage that was opened on Hookah, and because of the rotation. Mixwell gets the kill on Ryan before he's able to jump on side with the showstopper. Oh no, that's a big loss for NIP. That's a huge loss. For artists, nice shot connected. Mixwell is going to look for a little bit more on long. At least the, the trade is back there. But the problem is, existence is fragging like an absolute beast. He's shutting them down from hookah. He has to, man. He, he, he's the duelist right now in this composition. <laughs> he's got the rolling thunder. And they've got the hunter's fury. If they can get this spike down, they should be able to at least close this round out. Rolling thunder, though, thrown out preemptively to get them the control over the site. Patatech still hits the shot onto Chihuahua. They close in. They make it to site. Patatech swings. And oh, my God, he doesn't miss. Three kills. And 12 to 5, well, that is just the final nail in the coffin, it feels like, Match at this point. point. NIP are yeah. struggling again. So the, what I was going to say earlier is I really want to see the veto in full. Because we saw what... It's kind of hard to say when we don't have an interview with that specific question, right? Maybe, maybe, post-game, maybe post-game. We'll see, we'll see. But in the, the meantime, JD gets a kill on Zeke, but then it gets traded by Artis. Artis with the double kill. Promise old. Huge, huge opening on site. Ah, Chihuahua of that cheeky shower play that he actually made so many times but this is the first time it worked we know chihuahua loves some cheeky plays in the shower but let's see what else he can do if he can make a clean play out of this one scrub the soap on it and pull it all the way off so you have to realize in that round there we in the start of this round we had the uh the orbital strike combined with the hunter's fury to just completely slow stop those players from going anywhere and then kill them with the hunter's fury now we look to a little oh no the player inside's being tagged this is terrible they know exactly where both players are uh, at least I think so. Panatech seemed to have an idea on Korea. Okay. I, I thought he heard the shadow step, but maybe not. As Korea falls, Chihuahua's in a 1v2. 20 seconds on the clock, and he's got to get back and take the spike because Korea had it in his hands, and now it's on the floor. Artist is just watching yeah, this it. This is not looking good. He has 50 it's seconds. He needs, to, he needs to run. After the kill, never mind. <laughs> I was really hoping. But they are getting a lot of control of it. Oh, Korea, he pushes through that smoke, takes down Artis, looks to heaven, but he can't get it done. He's sent to heaven himself. A 4v4 emerges, moving to the A site, but the spike is left behind. Again, Korea falling, leaves that in a, a pretty precarious position. They cover heaven and get that spike down. The wall inside of the defender spawn is completely stopping them from pushing through and having anything to say about this. And you don't want to peek the window when your teammate can't even see out of spawn. You know that they're holding it, and with the ghosts in hand, we now see the benefit of this buy on those long range duels with a sage up to heal any players that take damage back to 100 which is 
full health, right? Because they didn't have armor to start with by enough ghosts. Mm -hmm. But Chihuahua, oh, what a peek! That's so good with the Aftershock! Looking for a little bit more, but Pith ultimately takes him down. The heal is stopped, though, because he takes damage! But Zeke is absolutely huge! It's all on JD, but the Battle of the Sages goes to G2. What was that? <laughs> It's beautiful play. The, the, it all fell apart the moment Chihuahua died. He was holding. I was gonna just smoke it out, grenades to like uh, just get info on on uh, on someone being close. See, the, he went for the second orb, but this time he paid the price. Mixwell had already rotated over, ready for them this time. And the pre-call, once they heard the steps, they realized these guys are playing off full orbs. Well, that's just prenated. Chihuahua, what is that shot? Oh After shot, connect. This guy's a beast. We've talked about him a million times, and let's add one more to the count. At three versus two, artist in danger. He spots the sage, but JD hits the sheriff's shot, and it, this must be the wild wild west because there's too many damn sheriffs and they're all popping off in town right but is this town big enough to <laughs> for every single sheriff the bookie so they've lost the round let's move on to the next one <laughs> now but the vandal in hand obviously he should be looking that little bit better he's rotating through spawn but it's mixed wall on the back of the side hiding he hears the blast packs he knows the players are close by they've cleared heaven all they oh have to worry my. about now is the site he swings there's one Mixwell oh. almost with the second it was close but a 2v3 turn into a three oh no sorry i read that at exactly the wrong time they've just rezzed up artists so it's it's now a 2v2 lucky from zeke this is just filth if g2 walk away with this round minds are going to be blown out there but zeke's got to do it all the man's a beast but the timing is the terrible time, oh, the time it was close he almost had it but in the end it's with the blast packs there's already a player on site as we switch to mix well he's taken down rhyme support is coming in and every fight's going their way jd isn't long for this world after finding a frag and with that it's all down to one he hasn't been spotted on the back of the site but they'll suspect that he can be here at this point a 1v4 for korea the player walked out of the previous game with, I think, a 2.2 KD. Let's see if he can have a nice 4-1 in this. No. He was definitely the top fragger for NIPN. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh my disgusting. god. Be again. Patatek with huge double kill. Jeez, a double by Patatek. He could have even gotten more. Oh, no. Mixwell in the perfect position. But Zeke from down below is the one to find all three. Leaving Chihuahua in a 1v3. He knows where Zeke is. But another 4K. But Mixwell's clearing it out. He sees now oh, they're lined up. Mixwell, a triple out of absolutely nowhere. NIP fall behind. A Kukos, a.k.a. Existence, has got a lot to do. But Ryan chimes in with another. That spike planted for... Oh, that's not what he meant to do. That spike planted for them. <laughs> All they have to do is keep the players off it, but it's being diffused. It's halfway as he goes through the smoke. And Ryan with a one, but what? Mixwell aced Mixwell it. The ace. He caught it through the is smoke it? on the... But they're going to look to do it with the Sheriffs again. The Showstopper comes through, but the dash, it's oh, not enough. Got the Zeke. Zeke they were aiming for up on the rafters. Rhyme in with another afterwards before he goes down. And this is winnable, perfectly winnable, especially with Pitt's HP. There's going to need to be some healing up going on, and that's Existence that gets the health regen back to 100. Leaving Chihuahua nice and low. Artist, that's a free kill, but he misses it. No, Goes for misses. default, but takes down JD afterwards. They know exactly where both players are now, but hold on. Pith is so low. A 1v2 that was winnable, but Pith closes it out nonetheless. I really like how they play. No, no one is going in to get map control. They know they have the superior weapons. They know they have those advantages. Oh, no. oh my god. Existence with the triple kill, and he did so much damage. Ryan is just cleaning up. Well, that was uh, that was almost an ace from existence there. <laughs> the three K, the others are low. You see, Artis's HP after that engagement, it's just nice and easy peasy. JD closes it out except for NIP because a lot of other teams wouldn't have gotten that. Korea, he wins the duel. Crab walking into the corner, he allows to get himself <laughs> close enough that that blind doesn't hey, we matter. We play on two zero one. Exactly. <laughs> Crab really walking alone. <laughs> Uh, well, the running guns are working out, at least for now. You've seen NIP oh take the lead. God. JD with a wall bang shot right down middle onto Artis, but Pith returns the favor, opens up A a little bit. A bit overeager on the peak there from existence, going straight down, leaving the A side a little bit exposed. And the problem here is, as they move to reinforce A, they're leaving mid completely open. And where yeah. Korea... And this is a good read by G2, because JD has the ultimate, so he wants to go for that... Um, for that res on Heaven A, because of that, G2 allow, is allowed to just take control of mid, because they know he is going to rotate, and no one else will be here. Mm -hmm. 
I think one of the issues you're going to face... Uh, ooh, the spike is moving in. Before, Kree was in a position where he could have been cut off without that being broken. But now, with 10 seconds left, they know that you're coming. This is dangerous. You're going to have to hit every shot. Panatek gets one, but there's the showstopper. And that's, that's the round stopper, too. Time is gone. Because it's over, right? There was six seconds left as that, yep. was, uh, that rocket left the launcher. And so we go in at nade. Uh, it's not going to do anything. A little bit early. But it's all just posturing. They're f oh, no! Down into the <gasps> boom bot. Look at the damage that's done. Mixwell dashes up into heaven, but Rhyme finishes off artist. All down to utility. Rhyme in with a second. There goes the blast pack. It's not going to get anything done, but he's refreshed his nade. Use oh, Korea. He just got heavy, heavy pressured. And with that NIP, they close out the round 10 to 8. And the Bulldog and Pith will not be dropping him. Is an interesting, interesting. Small, small point. Yeah, right. I would love to know why. This... This... Well, with Korea turning up as he is, I don't know how Artis just ended up getting pushed downwards by that one, but his nade got a kill anyways. Traded out his teammates and put it into the 2v2 spike. Retrieved as they move towards the site, and that plant will come in. A 2 versus 2 retake is tough to make happen when you haven't got the info on the second player, and this is where... Z could have been huge, but he got caught off and Chihuahua coming up, not finding the play. Artis looks for more, but it's not going to happen. Holy, it's going to be tough to... You know, it's funny because we, we we said about JD using his ultimate so often, right? But he has that ultimate now for like, I think, four rounds. He's had it for a while. It's the showstopper I'm looking at, though, because mid control is where they're looking to go. Ryan wants to break that wall. There's the showstopper, and it stops Zeke's show for sure. Kriya returning to that position that we'd seen the enemy omen use earlier on, and oh Chihuahua God, quickly Chihuahua. closes it. And don't will make a difference as well, but it's still not the perfect buy. So NIP still has the advantage. They're still on the match point. G2 knows they cannot make a single mistake. They go over a very slow execute, getting some map control. Uh, they did make a small fake on A, left their, their Sage. Zeke trying to get more info, I guess, for, for some lurkers on A. In the meantime, they're getting map control on mid, destroyed the Sage wall from NIP. Will they go to Vents? There's, they know there's a trap in Vents. So there's, we have seen this before, Chihuahua getting an easy kill on the trap. Ah, here, there's the blast back to destroy the trap, but he doesn't know that there was a reposition on the trap, so they now think that they got that info out, and NIP will be aware of that someone who will be in vents, but there's the still trap there. Now it's being destroyed. Uh, it's going to be destroyed at the right time as well. The smoke goes in towards the spawn as they look to crunch in on Korea. His support is slowed a little bit. In goes the Rolling Thunder. Mixwell, though, still pursuing the player on the site, and Korea's dropped. Rolling Thunder gave them control of heaven for a little bit, and the trade is there. Oh, no! How is Existence able to do that? He was spotted as well inside the smoke. He avoids no everything. Idea. Now it's a four versus three. Heals up for Existence four as well. Four. There's the res back by Zeke, which is quickly denied a peak in by JD to shut Mixwell down before he'd fully rezzed on up. One man advantage, but they've got to get back in here and they're lacking the ultimates now. That Rolling Thunder could be invaluable, but JD, he grabs it onto Patatek. They'd already used the Aftershock, but Zeke and Pith quick to react, catching every kill. It's left down to JD. He found 4Ks before. Can he do it again? Gives away his position. Classic out, and there it is. A 4K to close out the game. NIP eliminate G2, and Mixwell's already off the server and out of the qualifier. That is a huge upset now.